Okay, we're back, folks. Where'd all the holiday stuff go? Uh, <laughs> gone. It's gone? Yeah. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Our first guest is one of the biggest teen stars around. She works her magic every week as Alex on the Disney Channel. Here she is in the movie version of the Emmy Award winning show, Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, because you couldn't stop being perfect long enough to realize that you were standing in quicksand. Oh, it's help me, please. Help me. Get me out of here. Help me, please. Grab on my hand. Grab my hand. Help me. Not funny. Now maybe we can get someplace, huh? Okay, so we're here and we need to get there. You're holding it upside down. Come on to some... Oh. <laughs> well, that makes it better. Yeah, yeah, kids at home, you certainly know who she is. Please welcome Selena Gomez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. So you're 17 now? Yes. Wow. What's up? <laughs> You've grown up before our eyes. You were on Barney. Yes, right, I when was. you were about seven years old. Mm -hmm. At so oh, there you are. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to be at such a young age? There has to be a, some sense of responsibility of the image you portray for the little girls that all look up to you. Because I know I have a bunch of nieces and nephews, and my nieces especially, just adore you. Thank you. What does that feel like as a young person to have that kind of... Um, I, I mean, I still remember the first time a little girl, you know, came up to me and said that she wants to be just like me when she gets older. And of course, that feeling at first, that, that's a lot, hearing a little girl say that they mm. want to be you. And at first, it is a little scary, but I love my job, and I love, I love kids, and they're the whole reason why I'm here. So my job just kind of is to be the best I can be for those kids, because that's, that's my job and that's my favorite part of my job. So. It's, it's got to be a, it's a, I mean, I, I know there's so much joy in it, I can see the joy that you find in it, and it's got to be a tall order, too, to have that, you know, kind of growing up in the public eye where you're only human, you're going to make mistakes or make choices that you think, oh, I should wish I would have done this or that, but is there a way that you deal with that, like with your mom and dad, do they say, you know, you can't, let all this affect you too much, good right. or bad. Yeah. Right, well, m my, the way I look at it is I am 17, and I love this, my job, but I don't want it to, let, I don't want it to live my life for me. Right. I want to be able to go to the movies and hang out with my friends. Although my life is a little different, and there are people that are watching me and, and you know, criticizing every move I make, but I think my job just means that I, I mean, I'm human. I am going to make mistakes, but I want to keep my mistakes to myself. Well, they're not mistakes, lessons, really. Yes, really, as you're growing course. up. I think when yes. somebody's your age, anybody who's criticizing you has to be really kind of messed up to wow. take the time to do that. I mean, you know, anybody who has a 17-year-old in their life and you've watched them grow up like we've watched you grow up, there's a certain sensitivity that we've all been there and we don't know everything yet and yeah. there's a lot of life lessons that you have to go through. And like you say, when you still want to have your normal life, like you hang out with like Taylor Swift or something, can you guys just go out to the, you can't just go out, can you? Like to the store or? Yeah. You can? Yeah. I mean, we, like I said, we both have that same mentality. I mean, we do get stopped and, mm -hmm. but I mean, it never has come out of either of our mouths like, oh gosh, we can't go anywhere, but it's, it's just part of the job. We go out and do normal things. We're not going to let it stop us from being teens. What about guys? Like, do you, when you have a crush on somebody, I guess it's only like the people you work with is how you meet people, right? Because normally yeah. you meet them in school or... Yeah, but boys give me headaches right now. <laughs> oh, trust me, that doesn't go away. I know. <laughs> no, and eventually I... becomes an excuse. But <laughs> But you don't have to worry, worry about that. I don't that. have to worry about that right no, now. No, I've no. got a really good stepdad who looks out after me. So. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's always good to have a good, you know, force in front of you when there's a guy's knocking at the door. Do. Make sure somebody's checking them out and looking it over. Yeah. So you were how old when you auditioned for Disney? Because I know we have that footage, and I found it fascinating because I don't think people understand that when you audition, sometimes you're just put in front of the camera, yes. and you're talking to pretend people. There's nobody there except the person running the camera. Yep. And... It, but you do see your personality in this. Oh, goodness, I apologize. I was 11 years old, and I 
went in there and I'm wearing a poncho. <laughs> I'm wearing like this horrible tacky thing. It's, it was my first aud one of my first auditions for Disney Channel and that's what got me my job. I know, but it's so adorable. Do you mind if we show Go it? Because it's really sweet. <laughs> Just to see, you know, it takes a lot of work. Before you start. <laughs> Someone's got oh. their first cavity. Me? It's supposed to be Eric. Well, let me go. Ow! No, it's you. Eric, do you mind if I take care of running first? No, go not. I'll be right back. I need to get a bigger drill bed. <laughs> no problem, Dr. Warren. The bigger, the better. Hey, what are you doing? Dental work can't get back in. Got that right. Nobody's gonna drill my grill. Sorry, keep on putting... That's okay. That was... I can see what they saw in you. Very natural <laughs> and you. very sweet. I mean, that's, I, you know, stay true to yourself. That's important because that's your gold mine right there is your sincerity. We'll be right back with Selena. More when we come back. <laughs> Selena, tell me, you wrote a song on the, your first album. Yes, I and did. And it's called I Won't Apologize is the name of the song? Yes, it is. So... That's got to take some discipline to sit down and actually write. Well, yeah, this is my first record, and, and um, I took about a year and a half working on it because I just wanted it to be good. And I know that for, for my little fans and for my teen fans and for everyone, I wanted to make sure that it was empowering. And the song that I wrote is called I Won't Apologize because I feel like girls, specifically teen girls my age, tend to change themselves for people, whether it's like a cool group at school or like a boyfriend. And that's something that I went through. And the song is basically saying, I'm sorry it didn't work out for us, and I'm sorry that I'm not who you want me to be, but I'm not going to apologize for who I am. Wow. And so that's... Thank you. <laughs> that's some... I mean, it's fun. It's not, it's not like, it's not intense or anything. No, it's I might, fun. And I'm going to listen to it a few times. I could use that lesson. Thank you. <laughs> Telling you that. So, so did you have like a heartbreak of... Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I had my biggest one around your age where yeah. I can still recall it. Yep. We all have to go through it. Yeah, because you think, oh, if I had just done this or that or if I could be this way or that way, but that's not accurate. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. If they don't get it, see ya. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> that's right. You certainly <laughs> did it. You certainly did it. What, is your, what do your parents think of all your success? How's your mom doing with all this? My mom's good. My yeah. mom's my biggest fan. She's wonderful. Um, nothing's really changed, though. That's what I really like is when we want to go to Chili's, you know, on Friday, we all go as a family in our mm -hmm. sweatpants, and nothing's changed. We know that we live a very blessed, fortunate life. So It's interesting. We were talking during the break about one of the aspects of this business is that so much in our life changes but we say the same but other people view us differently people right. that have been in our lives for a long time before mm -hmm. all that happened and that's one of the things you deal with is that you're like saying I haven't changed but people are changing the way they react towards me yes and that's what that's I think is what's getting really hard for me mm -hmm. at the moment because my guard is slowly going up because I, the people react differently people that I grew up with are changing you know just things like that is just it's really, it's been hard, and it's been a long process, but it's been good and a learning experience, so. Yeah, you've got your head on straight, and that is part of it. I mean, that is something that anybody will go through this in this, in this business, but when you're younger, I think it's got to be especially difficult, but obviously you're finding all the joys in it, and you've got a rock-solid family, and your talent is Thank a joy. You. It really is. Thank you. That's all I do. <laughs> you've got dogs, right? Yes, I have five. You, have, you guys, Selena has five rescue dogs. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Look at there, the puppies. Oh. They are so cute. Oh. Oh. oh they're all over the really? place. I love it. Yes. Oh, gosh. Walking throw rugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Everyone in the home is going home. Everybody in the home. Everybody in the audience is going home with the DVD of the movie Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back.